What's going on, Wolfpack? Let me ask you, do you trust the government? If you do, you can stop watching right now. All right, you're still here. So let's talk about something that I believe is one of our greatest emerging threats to our individual freedoms. And it's this, our faces. That's right. Whether you know it or not, someone, something is always watching. And we were made keenly aware of it this past week with a Chinese balloon floating over our nation spying on us. All right, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Someone is watching, someone is recording, someone is analyzing everything. Now, it used to be that we got our picture taken for our high school yearbook, or maybe a license, or a passport. That's right. Um, unfortunately for some of us, like Bill Gates here, he ended up on the wrong side of the law, <laughs> and he had a mugshot taken. But today, you are getting your picture taken everywhere. Take a look at the buildings around you. Closed caption TV cameras everywhere. Our iPhones for, with facial recognition. Also, our social networks with people tagging us left and right. Our pictures are everywhere. And those pictures are going into, the, into databases in the cloud, and they are being analyzed where sophisticated AI machine learning is creating a fingerprint-like profile of your face. And unfortunately, we're voluntarily doing this in many cases with our permission. It's not even non-permissive. I mean, we use facial recognition to unlock our phones. A picture is being taken. It's being ID'd. We use facial recognition to tag ourselves with friends in photos. Look at this uh, I, you know, Apple iPhoto, organizing all of our friends, even ourselves, under each of all our individual names, using our facial features to identify us and put us in a particular bucket. Let's not be naive. We're using facial recognition to create fun little avatars, right, of ourselves. And we're doing this because it's convenient. It's fun. It's cool. Well, we're also doing this and voluntarily giving up our freedom. Now, we're in the United States, right? So there's nothing to worry about because we are protected by the Constitution and the Fourth Amendment against unreasonable search and seizure. Well, guess what? What happens if and when, in the name of national security or some other bogus reason, that position changes? What happens if someone decides that you are public enemy number one and that, hey, Let's put, out a, let's put out an APB on you because of who you are, because what you believe, because of your associations, because of your personal ESG score. Who knows? So what are you to do? Here are three practical tips. Number one, stop playing the game. Stop playing the game. It takes two seconds to log in the old-fashioned way. Avoid facial recognition. Stop posting. Stop tagging. Number two, spoil the data. This simply means confuse the machines, confuse the AI, upload photos that aren't of you, tag them as you. Do this many, many times. Confuse the machines and spoil the data. Three, go gray man. Knowing that there are cameras everywhere. When you are in public, at the very least, put on a ball cap, wear some dark glasses, hold your head down instead of up so that the cameras can't pick up your face. And then, you know, finally, get educated. This is just a teaser. There are so many great resources out there that you can tune into to take active measures to prevent facial recognition from becoming a reality and to prevent your face from becoming the next fingerprint in some federal, state, government organization and being potentially used against you someday. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. Keep fighting the good fight and keep on prepping.